guys welcome back to our channel so today I am going to be doing a video on life in the RV with the dog so I just posted a video of my new home that I'm building in Mississippi along the Mississippi Gulf Coast right there by the beach which is just about an hour to an hour and 20 minutes depending on which location of my stores I will be commuting to um, from where I live so not too far from New Orleans but close enough to be able to check in on the businesses and go to the businesses at least um, four days a week, but be very close to the beach and have a totally different atmosphere. So I sold my home back in October of 2019 to downsize, and we have been living in my RV, which is this Tiffin Allegro Red since November. So I guess I sold my house in November, I think. I think it was November. Anyway, we went from the big old house to this RV and I've actually been loving it. It's been really, really good. It's worked out really good. But the only thing is eventually I knew that I would of course have to get a house because having four dogs in an RV is a little cramped. Um, although, really the dogs aren't really the problem it's more so like storage shoes clothes things like that that you just have and you know trying to find space for everything has been a little bit of a challenge but i have made it work and we're doing just fine but we're also looking forward to being in a house with a nice big yard and a pool and you know a regular living situation as well i am still going to keep the rv because living on the gulf coast with dogs you do want to have something to or it, you don't have to have this but it's very very convenient to have an rv to be able to evacuate when we get these storms you know we're right there in the path of a lot of hurricanes and it's really difficult to evacuate with dogs so the rv comes in handy plus we love camping and traveling so not getting rid of rid of the rv but definitely downsizing in my home so here's grayson right here as you can see she loves it out here but only if i'm out here so let's get started with the tour so I'm just gonna go through kind of what I've been using, having dogs living in an RV for anyone who may be in that similar situation. So the first thing is this table. This table came with the campground. It's not my table, but it has become a very, very useful thing for me because I don't have my big grooming table with me. This is where I basically groom Grayson because she jumps right up here. Come on, Grayson. Now she's not gonna do it. Of course, you're not gonna jump up. Come on, Grayson, there we go. So she jumps up here to get brushed. It's a really good spot for me to brush her. And then she jumps down. Um, because we're outside and we're not, you know, getting hair flown all around. Really, she doesn't shed much at all. Finley the pug is my biggest shedder, believe it or not. The short hair dog is the biggest shedder out of all four of the dogs. But it's just, this is a great spot because it's elevated and so I use this table as a grooming table. Also, the other thing that has come in so much help is this fence. Now this is just an exercise pen that I have bought a few of them and I've strung them together to make a fence, to make a yard. I am very lucky in the fact that the owners of this campground have allowed me to do this because in the beginning I was just taking her out on a leash every single time we needed to go potty in this back area right here, which is a nice big area in the back, but it was just a pain because I would have to get her on the leash and then take her out on the leash and potty on the leash. A five foot leash is not exactly, you know, the best thing. It's much easier for us to go out here. I can sit out here with her. And you know the other dogs, Stassi, Harper, and Finley use potty pads inside and we're gonna go inside and see that in a minute. But Grayson potties outside. So this has come in so, like such handiness to have this um, exercise pens strung together to make a fence. So if you're looking for temporary fencing, this is the way to go. This has been out here since November and we are now in July and I'm noticing just a couple of little 
rust spots, but not not really bad. I don't know how long you know it would last for. It's not something that would last for years and years, but it has definitely come in handy. And we have a pretty nice little area. I want to say I got four of these strung together. Let's see. I can count the doors. So that's one, two, three. So this looks like three. This is a 48 inch high set. And then I also bought a 24 inch high set, which I originally had up against this part of the RV. But I wound up, when I got the RV washed a few weeks ago, I had them take it down because I couldn't get in my bays, which this is a bay right here. And that's where I do use a lot of storage or keep a lot of storage in those bays. So it was really difficult for me to be able to use that. That's my blower that is in the, um, the bag there because I have to blow this, this little section off quite often because these beautiful trees are a mess. I have had leaves, I've had balls, I've had anything you can imagine a tree drops. It goes through stages in October. Um, it was beautiful out here. It was orange and red and you know we don't get a whole lot of that in New Orleans. We have mostly green trees so all of these trees were very beautiful but they were a hot mess with everything and it would go through stages so from October to I would say on uh, end of December I had tons of leaves and then after the leaves came the balls and then after the balls came these little squiggly things and then now we're getting leaves but not too too much right now because we're still in summertime this is a great little quiet RV park all of these people back here by me are long term just like me and they've been here for a long time i'm on the end of the road here so it's very very quiet and it's just very peaceful and we really love it here but this is not what this video is all about so let's take a peek inside here is finley and this is her spot Anytime we open, I open the door, we open the door, this is where she is. So <laughs> there she is. All right, let's go take a peek. Hey, Grayson. All right, so you come into the RV and this is usually where I drive. And yes, I drive this myself. Um, I've learned to drive it and I actually love it. I keep my extra bag of food right here this is the life's abundance i did a video on this and i don't know i didn't show you outside but i have a container that i keep their food i will dump out like when i open a bag i'll fill that container up and then i work out of that container let me show you what that is actually so it's right here that's the container where i keep the food but I just opened a brand new bag, so I had extra, and I didn't want to put it at the bottom because I didn't want bugs to get in it, so that's where the extra bag is. Okay, so then this is the little living area here, and this is Grayson's crate. So I had a recliner that went in this section here, but I knew that with her, you know, still being a puppy when we moved here she wasn't even a year old so she still needs to be crated at night that's the only time she's crated and when i'm not home so this is her crate it's a big gigantic 48 inch crate that's really way too big for her but she does fine in it she can stand up she can she can have a dance party in there really it's really big <laughs> So that is her. And then here's the girls, Stassi and Harper. They love to get up on this sofa. They do not jump down, but they love to get away from Grayson and Finley because those are the two active ones right here. <laughs> and then these are the two quiet ones. So they like to kind of have their own little space. So they kind of hang out on the sofa for a while and they really like kind of the peace and quiet and it works out really good. 
The next thing I have here is some storage. Like I said before, storage is a real issue when you're living full time in an RV, but these containers from the container store really, really have like saved me because they hold a lot of stuff. And I have a lot of the dog stuff in here. So this is their food container that I work out of. So I have the container outside that holds most of the food. And then I will fill this container up with their life's abundance and this is where they've got their little scoops in there and that's where I feed them out of and I will show you this so this is their bandana collection I've had quite a few bandana um, purchases I love putting bandanas on Grayson and Harper and Finley Stassi has her bows, they have their bandanas. It works out great. And so it makes them just a little fancy. And if you would like to see a video on our bandana collection, I'll be happy to do that. Just let me know in the comments below. And then these two containers here are our dog supplies. This is where I keep, you know, of course, everything for Stassi's top knots. We have some extra shampoo in there. Um, all of her rubber bands, everything in there. And then this one is overflow. So I have Grayson's harness and some shampoo, her brush, some more powder, and just some overflow things right there. Then we go to the little table. And this is where I work on my little computer, my laptop. Over here in this corner, we have stuff for the house, house plans. Um, wood samples all of that and then I have a small bucket here from Grove um, Grove collaborative I think it's called and I just like this little bucket and it keeps all of the stuff that I use kind of on a daily basis right there so the peace and kindness the cologne the um, her you know their brush or their comb rather so that's right there easy for me to see all the time the next thing over here is our water stands from Paws Creations. Unfortunately, her husband passed away and I don't think she's back open yet, which is a real loss to, you know, the dog lover world because these stands are amazing. So I'm so glad that I got them when I did um, and I don't know if she's going to be working on getting those um, built by someone else or not. So our hearts go out to you, Betsy. We love you. This is just a bed right here. So Stassi loves to curl up right here. I usually keep this fireplace light on. It doesn't, it, it does have heat, but then you can also put it without heat, but it's not working right now. So I don't know what's going on with that. The next thing we have here is our treats. So this is where I keep their treats. Now I am a huge Ray Dunn collector. I love Ray Dunn and I just love her stuff. So we have our treats in here and I am going to be doing a video on our favorite treats. So stay tuned. Um, this is our NuVet right here and our NuVet Plus and more treats. So you're gonna be finding out about that. Over here is another bed um, in the left hand corner of this video and their dog box, their, their toy box. This is also very, very old. Uh, as you can see, it has names of dogs that, you know, have since passed on, sadly. But I am getting ready to paint this to match the new house. So I ordered some chalk paint and I'm painting this white. So that's gonna, that's gonna be a little project for me. And then this is where I keep their potty pads because the little girls go and potty on the potty pads. And I just, you know, this is a good spot for me to keep them here in my bedroom. I had to put some more of those containers here in the in the bedroom to have some room. And then um, I have a, a spot where I put the clean potty pads are in one of the drawers back there. And then one of these hampers has my, um, you know, our dirty clothes and then also their potty pads, their used potty pads. So I really like these hampers because it holds like all of the potty pads after, you know, like in transition from its time, from the time when, oh, there we go. Good girl. Finley's showing you how she uses her potty pads. They are 100% on the potty pads. So, <laughs> okay, kick it out.
<laughs> but anyway, one of those hampers holds the potty pads waiting to be washed. And I wash potty pads every single day. So that is it. That's how we live here in the RV with the dogs. It's really quite comfortable, like I said. Um, storage is a little bit of a challenge, but with everything, I mean, it it's, works out. It works out. Oh, I did want to show you one other thing. My vacuum cleaner. You guys, if you are looking for a small, compact vacuum cleaner, look no further than the Dyson. We all know that Dyson makes wonderful vacuum cleaners. This is the V11, I believe it's called. I will leave the link to everything that I've mentioned that I can leave links for in the description box below, so make sure you check it out. As you can see, it is full of hair because I use this pretty much every day as well. It came with a bunch of different attachments. It picks up amazingly and I absolutely love it. It is worth every penny that I paid for this. Like it is the best. So I have it, I keep it plugged in down there and it works out pretty good. This is uh, the place where I keep most of the leashes that I use on a daily basis. So we have, you know, the little um, poopy bags and then the hound leashes are these two here and then this is a waterproof leash and collar and I like to use that waterproof leash if um, Grayson is going anywhere where she's going to get wet it doesn't mess up the leather because these are quite expensive leather collars and leashes so that's it. So that's where I keep that. And then I have, um, like I said, over there in this container, I have some overflow, um, her harness that I use, which I will be doing a video on that harness because I love it. Um, I keep that over here in this overflow section. So that is it for this video, guys. Here's a shot of Harper so that you can see her pretty little face. And let's look at Stassi before we go. Hi, Stassi, pretty girl. And then the attention hog here is Grayson. <laughs> okay, stop. Stop it, girl. She thinks I'm always talking about her all the time. And she's a little attention hog. And then we have Finley underneath the table over here, just chilling out. So that is it guys. Thank you so much for watching and following along with us on our journey. We will be in our new house and I will make sure and bring you videos. I hope that you guys are enjoying um, us being back on YouTube. It, it does take a little bit of effort doing these videos, kind of a lot of effort. So hopefully you appreciate it and I'm hoping to bring a little bit of us to you guys in every video. So thank you so much for watching. We will catch you on the next video. Make sure if you like this video to give it a thumbs up and please subscribe and follow us on Instagram. Bye guys, have a great day, bye bye.